Ah. Isabella, my sister. It's not Daniela, it's Isabella. Hey, Gine, I want better celeb. Hmm. Oh, yeah, make I start, Abi. First of all, before I start, let me address some things. Hmm? Before I deal with the Pastor Chris and um, TB Joshua matter, let me address some things. Eh? First things first, I want to warn you so it doesn't look like Daddy Freeze blocked me. Okay? I want to warn you. I'm talking to you, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Somebody just got blocked on my page now. I put up a comment, and the person said, almost funny. I checked the person. The person said she's an OAP. She has about 3,000 followers. That's not an opinion. If you come to my page, you can actually say, I would have found this funny if you did this like this. And I would accept some level of criticism. As long as it is polite. If Agbaje were Nika, Agbaje know who Papa him be mate. Look at this one, Black Dog. He says, shut up, Alaye. Do you believe in the rapture? Let me show you how rapture is going to happen. Just be watching your screen, oh, back door. You will see that. Only you go remain. Just watch, just watch. Rapture, don't carry all of us, go live only on. Hmm. You see? On um, Facebook especially, when you guys come and you drop a comment and I delete your comment, it's a cue. I'm warning you. Don't come back and type, Daddy Freeze deleted my comment. That's a block. And let me tell you the beauty about block. If I block you, any other post of mine that you've ever commented on, your comments will just disappear. Now, rapture. I won't help you they rapturable. You go just rapture for my Facebook page. You go just from there, they go. And no be heaven, you they go. Secondly, there's this new trend. I want to debate with Daddy Freeze. Reno Mokri, we can debate with me. He has more followers than me on Twitter. I have more followers than him on Instagram. I have more followers than him on YouTube. He has more followers than me on Facebook. There's something I'm getting from him. Reno is in a position of leadership. He has led a physical church. He also has a, an online following. Somebody see where Reno they go, they begin follow him. You get 2,000 followers. You want to debate with Daddy Freeze. First of all, if you don't say you don't get followers, that thing where I talk, right episode there, where challenge waiting I talk, at a level where I am impressed, then I can discuss with you. Let's start a discussion first in the comment section. Then we can order a debate. You just jump from nowhere. I want to do a debate. Let me tell you something. I charge a million naira for one hour interviews. One million naira. If someone like Moffa is coming and is going to give me a million views, I will make the money. I don't need Moffa. I will pay Moffa to come and do interview. As Hush Puppy Day Prison, I go pay her money, make it come do interview with me. Because I know, say, the interview will sell out. But you don't have anything to offer. And you want to debate Daddy Freeze. You don't want to debate Daddy Freeze. You want to chase clout. This is what I do for a living. I'm an influencer, I'm a preacher, and I'm a teacher. 
for the first time in my life on Sunday, I was there with taste board. Somebody called me and said, Daddy Freeze, I want you to teach me the Bible. I said, don't worry, just go to my own. He said, no, no, I want you to teach me one-on-one. -on -one. I will pay for a session. Whatever you charge for an hour, baby, am I lying? Whatever you charge for an hour, I will pay you so you can teach me. I had to give the guy attention. I now said, you know what? I can't charge you to teach you the, the, um, the word of God. Freely you have received, freely give is the instruction. But Christ also said, do not reject hospitality. So if I teach you and you decide that I ah, want to give me this 50K, this 100K, this 1 million, this 20K, out of your own volition as what you consider hospitality and it is not something outrageous, I will gladly receive it. Okay? So if you want to debate me, go and build the following first. Let there be some people that take you seriously. Like Omoyele Showare, Namdi Kanu, Sunday Boho. Sunday Boho no get followers for Instagram. But he get followers for real life. If Sunday Boho they work out for road, you go see 2 million people they work out, they follow Ram. If you no get Instagram followers, get followers where they follow you. I go look your picture. You look like who are supposed to send money to make you take chop lunch. So what is your debate you want? And the thing you have typed is nonsense. So let us start from there first. Please, stop it. If you want to debate me, go and bring... There is no top geo in this Nigeria that will call me for a debate and I will not run there and say, yes, sir. No top geo will call me. Is it Baba Adeboye? That will call me and say, hey, you, you this annoying boy, you be annoying me since. Oh, yeah, let's do debate. Ah, yes, daddy, I will reach there. So... That said, let us address Pastor Chris Okotie and Prophet, the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. Let's pray because um, we're addressing a doctrinal issue and we require the wisdom of God. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for everything you've done in our lives. I ask for mercy. I ask for direction. I ask for your leadership, not ours, and for your will to be done regarding Christianity in Nigeria and regarding the state of affairs of the country. I ask that you feed your people. They are your people and they love you. And I ask for mercy upon their lives. In Yahushua's name I pray. Amen. So um, the story is Pastor Chris Okotie. According to a post on Instablog, uh, I'm sorry I won't be able to play for you here for copyright reasons. I'm a content creator on uh, social media. I know what it feels like when somebody carries my content. And whether you like it or not, it is Chris Okotie's content. And I must respect that. He said, from what I watched and understood, he started... He started... He, uh, okay, I can take the beginning part, I think. Just that beginning part. I'm not sure I would. Let's, let me pause this and let's do this. Just the beginning part. Okay, Joshua claims or claim that he is that one that the Lord appointed. So, he went on and on and um, ended up saying from my understanding of what pastor chris said he said that joshua that is tb joshua tried to put himself in a play in the place of christ uh and he first of all started by uh, tb joshua called himself joshua which is christ's name First of all, watching uh, Chris Okotie in this video made me respect him in the fact that he understands scripture and history. I give that to him. He said that the original name is Yahushua, 
uh, which went on to become Jesus. I, I don't agree with that part. Yahushua cannot become Jesus. Yahushua can become Joshua. Yahushua, Yeshua, Jesus, and then Joshua. Because, you see, if you understand scripture, uh, Reno and I disagreed on this in uh, our debate. Reno goes with the Aramaic name Yeshua. But Christ's name, is, Yeshua, is like Dio. My name is Ife Dio. But you can call me Dio. Yeshua is like a Dio of Ife Dio. The full name is Yahushua. That was Joshua's name, a very popular name back then. And it was also Christ's name. And there were several people in the Bible that had that name. You've heard of Yesuton Baraban, that you people call Baraban, I mean Barabbas, who was with Christ at the beginning. Most scriptures don't use that name. Uh, go with me to Matthew 26. I beg your pardon, Matthew 27 actually, if I'm correct. Is either one of those verses? Let me just quickly open it up. Oh my goodness, why is this Bible slow today? Okay, fantastic. So, I want us to talk about this. Uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. Yes, Matthew 27, I was right. Uh, fantastic. Verse 16. This year, there was a notorious prisoner, a man named Barabbas. That is Matthew 27, 16. Now, if you read this in the NIV, the NIV is the only scripture that accurately writes this. It says, at that time, there was a well-known prisoner whose name was Jesus Barabbas. The KJV says Barabbas. All other Bibles say Barabbas. That's why I always warn you, read the Greek. Look at someone beside you and read the Greek. And tell them, read the Greek. The Greek Bible says, Decimion, Epissimon, Logomenon, Yesun, Baraban. That is, Yesun, uh, Greek is different from English. You can be Jesus or Yesun. But it still means Yahushua. Or what many people erroneously call Jesus. So there were many people who had that name scripturally. There was also one in Acts chapter 13. If I remember correctly. Chapter 13. Of Acts 13, I think, verse 8 there, 8, 9, thereabouts. Okay? Acts 13, uh, verse 8. I shall not say, you know, if he passed 7, 8, 9. Now that, because verse 9 is when uh, Saul was also known as Paul. And I know that this was what they were talking about. So Acts chapter 13 verse... Okay, verse 6 actually. Afterwards, they traveled from town to town across the entire island until finally they reached Paphos, where they met a Jewish sorcerer, a false prophet named Bar Jesus, Bar Jesus. So the name... Yahushua was very popular and this is what led to one of the biggest errors in the King James Bible which you can find in Acts chapter 7 verse 45. If you google Acts chapter 7 verse 45 you will see that King James made another one of his many blunders. King James is the king of blunder. Only King James could translate and there you say uh, Micah was cursed to be child, childless. And then we still come and tell you that Micah had five sons. 
So King James, now the Olodo Bible. If you want to be Olodo, I am I looking for a Bible. We go make you Olodo. Just buy King James. Read only King James. While I, you go mumu. So if you read it in any scripture, it says, after receiving the tabernacle, our ancestors under Joshua brought it with them when they took the land from the nations God drove out before them. It remained in the land until the time of David. Now, only King James said, which our fathers came into procession, brought it with Jesus. It's, this is a big mistake because it wasn't Jesus, it was Joshua. But guess what? Joshua and Christ had the very same name. In Hebrew, in Aramaic, and even in Greek. The separation of Jesus and Joshua started in Latin. And then proceeded into English. And it was political. Because I don't understand how... I saw Sam Clef here the other day. Imagine me and Sam Clef. With the answer, Sam Clef. We can't go Yankee. They can't change in name to Sam Clefo. They can't change my own to Daddy Freeze. I don't get it. How can two people have the same name? The, the whole scriptures... When Christ read the scriptures and read about Joshua, he called him his name. Then all of a sudden now there's Jesus and Joshua. It's ridiculous to me. Go back to the original name. His original name is Yahushua. I'm glad Pastor Chris Oyakilo, uh, Okotie threw some light on that. Even though I do not agree with the name Jesus, I have a problem with it. In fact, I have many problems with it. It's too politicized, too Europeanized. The Europeans cannot come and conquer us, then come and tell us what to call our Lord and Savior that ran to Africa when Herod was pursuing him. Why didn't he run to England? Some of you have lived among us in Africa. We now need the bridge. You people don't try with Mongo Park now. When I go come, tell us if Mongo Park discovered the River Niger. The people that were fetching water from the River Niger, the people that were fishing in the River Niger, the people that were washing their cloth in River Niger, they did not know it was River Niger. They needed Mongo Park to come from abroad and say, that's River Niger. Oh my God, it's a river. Wow! Thank you, Mongo Park, for showing us River Niger. Mongo Park did not discover River Niger. He discovered it for his fellow Mumus. We've always known it was there. Someone said, as a Bible scholar in theology, KJV was recommended by our lecturers who are theologians. You, you be Olodo. Your lecturers be Olodo. King James, Olodo. The people will translate Bible for him. Na Olodo. So all of Una plus you plus Ekla plus King James plus your religion that you have formed out of this life. All of you be Olodo. I hope so I don't answer you well. And they show you error. No Bible get King James error. None. As in ridiculous, silly errors. No be so King James take carry Sat uh, Lucifer, give Satan. No be so. So, I agree with that part, but I struggle to understand the connection between T.B. Joshua calling himself Joshua and then him trying to be Christ. Unless there are some things that Pastor Chris is not saying, I can't find the correlation. Are we not supposed to be Christ-like? Is Joshua a name that people don't answer these are questions. If, 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 if he came and if T.B. Joshua said, from now on, his name is now Yahushua or Yeshua, I will worry. I will worry. Genuinely, I will worry. Because now he's calling himself Christ's name. Joshua is a variation of his name. An evolution of his name. The real name was Yahushua. So if T.B. Joshua woke up one day and said, Ah, I am now Temitokpe. Uh, what's the B inside? I've forgotten. Um, let's say it's Bolaring Wow, Balogu, Yeshua. Ah, I go worry. Now, Emmanuel, Manny, that works on Cool FM, that we work together, his name is Emmanuel Essien. So Manny now, too, now Jesus. So 
I don't understand that link unless there is something else. So, so I, I would appeal to Pastor Okoti to please throw some light on what else is missing so that we can link the, put the pieces to the puzzle. Because if T.B. Joshua declared himself Christ by calling himself Joshua, I get like uncle, we be like four, we be Joshua. Babe, you don't get family member, we be Joshua. I sure say, as I did here, Joshua day with us here. One Joshua, because there are 800 people on Facebook, 300 people on uh, Instagram, and 248 people on YouTube. No way, no way. Jo Joshua, a common name. Anybody bearing Joshua here? Somebody said, my son is Joshua, Josephine. Another person said, my name is Emmanuel. Any Joshua, if your name is Joshua, let me see your hands. Ada Kelvin, send me a, a, a DM when we're done. Anthony Joshua. Okay, so Anthony now. Anthony Joshua now, not Jesus. Even Anthony Joshua, if you see his, if you see his post, he doesn't use the name Jesus. He uses Yahushua. Joshua, now very popular name. Joshua, not be named where you go to find up and down. Same thing with Emmanuel. So, because someone calls himself Emmanuel, you see... I will plead with us. And why? You see, normally, if um, Pastor Chris has said this about any other pastor, I will have looked away. Pastor, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua is late. If we want to drag him into a controversy, let us drag him into a clear controversy that we can see. This man cannot defend himself. That is why I have chosen to come out and defend him. He can't defend himself. People, they answer even the Jesus, that false name where Oimbo people give our Lord and Savior. People, they answer them. One person called me the other day eh, in the book of Acts. Uh, chapter 2 this why do you say the name jesus does not exist if the book of acts chapter 2 uh, clearly says jesus is the only name i say my dear brother was acts chapter 2 written in english acts chapter 2 was written in english for the first time about 500 years ago for the first time meanwhile our lord and savior died and resurrected 2000 years ago so what name was he answering those two 100 1500 years until he got to where the Oimbo people who don't turn on a papa, they don't turn on a God. Anything where they talk, now so he be. So, my problem is, and I'm going to appeal to um, Pastor Chris Okotie now. Please, let Prophet T.B. Joshua rest. He is going to meet God who is going to judge him like the same God is going to judge us all. Let me tell you, this attack one on the other, especially for reasons that are not concrete, is only going to make people more wary of Christianity. Then, from my little understanding of Pastor Chris's video, he said that um, T.B. Joshua has put him, his, himself in the place of Christ and then you buy his photo and you hang his photo in your house and then the spirit that is working with him is also going to be working with you. I don't get it. T.B. Joshua did a lot of things that were wrong. And he also did a lot of things that were right. He's human. And that brings me to one of the most popular arguments. Mark chapter 10 verse 18. I want to read this in Greek. It says, Hode Jesus 
Eipen auto time legis agathon ude agathos e mehe ho theos. And what does this mean? It says, Why do you call me good? Yahushua asked. Only God is truly good. This also throws a spanner into the Jesus is God um, fallacy that you guys have allowed um, the Nicaeans to breastfeed you up until now. Jesus can never be God. Someone tell you that God is greater than me. Someone when he was on the cross said, God, why have you for, uh, abandoned me? Someone said, God, if only you can leave this uh, cross, but let your will be done, not mine. Then only God is good. Why are you calling me good? Meaning I'm not good, but God is good. And all of a sudden, this person that is not good at God, this person that is less than God, this person that said God abandoned him, this person that submitted himself to the will of God instead of his own will, this same person that Stephen saw in Acts chapter 8, standing by the right hand of God, has now become God. How you people were able to create this equation out of your confusion? Then you go to Genesis and say, eh, um, in the beginning, they, they said male and female, we created them. So automatically, that's the Trinity. As in, the arguments for this Trinity are so puerile. And this is what somebody wants to me to carry my platform of one million naira an hour to come and sit down with him and debate. When Reno said he wanted to have the discussion, did I not bring him? If Pastor Chris Okotie says, okay, this uh, TB Joshua matter that you have raised, I want to address it, will I not open my platform for him? But you will know no book. You still won't come argue this book with me. We will come waste time. I will sit down here. I have to listen to you. You will carry the matter, go up, carry the matter, come down. I will come give you some of my followers. The Mumu ones will never stand for one way breeze they blow. They will still come follow you, go. So are they blow you? You will want to destroy me. Where, where, where is the reasoning in this? Someone is saying Chris Okoti is showing he's a fake pastor. I don't agree with that. He's a human being and he probably is upset for one reason or the other. But I'm appealing to him now. Please let Prophet T.B. Joshua rest. You and I will pass on one day. This world, no be our papa get them. The people that are ready to take over this world from us, some of them don't they womb already. Some of them will never come this world. The person will go bring them come. They don't day inside in body already. <clears throat> Look at somebody. Someone said, address the book of John intro. I have addressed it like 30 times. I brought Reno. Why do you think when I brought Reno, I was asking questions? Because these were the things I have done. I have discussed over and over again. Stop reading Bible in English. English is 400 years. The first English, the oldest English Bible is 500 years old. Go and start reading Bible in Greek. Go and learn Greek. Learn it. Learn it small by small. You go begin to pick the words. John chapter 1 verse 1 uses two clear words. Theon, the mighty God. And the us, a God. It that verse should actually translate in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was a God. Because if you read Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, Satan himself is called Theos. Go and read it in Greek, you see, Satan is called Theos. Satan is not the God. He is a God of this world. Someone said, can you speak Greek? I can read a little. I can understand. If you show me words in Greek, I know what they mean. And so I can pick a bit of Latin here and there too. Try to learn Greek. If you have spare time, start learning it. If you have any problem, get the um, let me give you one of the best Bibles you can download in Greek. It's called the um, hold on. It's called the um, 
the Greek New Testament, 1904 by Nestle. That's a very good one. Or Westcott and Hort, 1881. Now, how about Hebrew? Hebrew is very important for the Old Testament, but the entire New Testament was first written in Koine Greek. So by the time you move from Greek, from Koine Greek to modern Greek, and then at that same time, around 400 AD, 402 thereabout, the Latin Vulgate or the Biblia Sacra Vulgata was translated by Jerome from the Septuagint and um, the Vestus Latina, which are parches of parchments of scripture. So the Latin Bible is about <clears throat> 1,600 years old. The English Bible is the young, one of the youngest Bibles. Small, I take senior Yoruba Bible and Pidgin Bible. Now, small, I take senior. Which one is oldest between Greek and Hebrew? It depends on what you're talking about. The New Testament was never written in Hebrew, ever. So the oldest language for the New Testament is Koine Greek. The Old Testament, on the other hand, was first written in Aramaic and Temple Hebrew. Someone said, eh, Jesus is English for Yeshua, just like Olorun is Yoruba for God. I disagree with you. Your name is what? My name is Ifedayo. When I go to the UK, does my name change to love brings joy? Jesus has no meaning. It's a transliteration. It was copied from Latin. And Latin copied it from Jesus in Greek. Jesus has no meaning. And that stresses me. My name is Ife Dayo. Ife love Dio turns to joy or brings joy. Lucifer has meaning, Lucy, light, fair to bring. Emmanuel, God is with us. Yahushua, Yahweh saves. Then Jesus means absolutely nothing. Nothing in Latin, nothing in English, nothing in Greek, and nothing in Hebrew. Sus in Latin means pig. Google it. Just go to Latin English. Just try it. Just don't believe me. Latin to English and type sus. Just look at it there. I don't know if you guys can see. Sorry. Can you see it right there? Can you see pig right there? Just try and look at it. I'm going to try to make it darker. Can you see? It's reverse. Look at it. Can you guys see? Try it in your own time. Pig. Sus and pig. So, that's my problem with the word Jesus. Sus in Hebrew means horse. So, this is Jesus. It means nothing. Jesus. G in Latin means earth. Geology, geography. So, uh, some people say, uh, if it doesn't have any meaning, you guys are going to be calling all sorts of... Call him his real name that God gave him that has meaning. And if there ever was an evolution from Yahushua, that evolution will not be Jesus, it will be Joshua. So you are better off praying in the name of Joshua than praying in the name of Jesus. But you don't like to hear words, so I leave you to it. I was correcting someone. Do you know that the letter J, God bless you, was not invented until 1600? Or a little before 1600? There, was a man, there is a man called the founder of letter J. J does not exist in Hebrew. There's no J sound in Hebrew. That is why you hear hallelujah, but it's spelled with J. The J is Y. 
But that's not the point of this debate, the point or this discussion. The point of this discussion is why is TB Joshua still being portrayed in a negative light? There's so much good TB Joshua too did. I have listened to TB Joshua's sermons. He wasn't the greatest orator with regards to the English language. But every time I sat down to listen to him, I heard messages of love. He is a preacher of love. He has his own fault. I have my faults. You don't know when I'm kneeling down before God and I'm praying to him, Father, please forgive me. You're not there with me. It doesn't make T.B. Joshua a bad person or a bad pastor. Some people believed in him. And he gave a lot to the poor. You can, you can criticize him all you want, but it will also be good... If, if I would have been more, I would never have said anything if Pastor uh, Okoti had just come and said, well, my brother T.B. Joshua, he did a lot of good things. But there's one thing I disagreed with him. That's his name, Joshua. And then him being Emmanuel, I, I think he was giving himself too much credit instead of giving to Christ. I would not have said anything. Some people say, yeah, he did a lot of false um, miracles, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you, the miracle is not in who does it. The miracle is in who receives it. I have, when I was much younger, I was watching a televangelist. Those days in the 80s, I had pain in my ear. And the pastor just said, touch the part of your body that is paining you. And the pain will go away. Let's pray together. And I touched my ear. And we prayed. And the pain went. He might be a fake pastor. But I might have used him to make a true connection. Someone said, like, miracle money alert. I really don't want to go into this. But I've had my own testimonies. I've had my own, but like I said, I'm not going to go into it. Because, as usual, it will be misconstrued. Someone said, TB Joshua on Emmanuel TV is false. But you are real. You are real. I know someone who used to say, Color Magbawa Leti Lori or Loro. May God no slap our mouth on top of another man issue. Color Magbawa Leti Lori or Loro. We need to be careful when we call people out. And if you don't, if you are not ready, to praise people when they do well, I think personally that you lack the ability to criticize them. If you personally, let me tell you, yeah, I was talking to a pastor today, a good friend of mine, and he said that, do you know that sometimes punishment we pastors supposed to receive, God know they let them receive them. Because of the fact, the wickedness people have already done to them. You have dragged them and dragged them and dragged them. You have dragged them and dragged them and dragged them. What is left for God to do again? You see, even though I don't take doctrines from the book of Psalms, there's something I would like to read to you. Hmm. 
the book of Proverbs, not the book of Psalms, chapter 24 and verse 17. Don't rejoice when your enemies fall. Don't be happy when they stumble. For the Lord will be displeased with you and turn his anger away from them. Person where God supposed punish. Where God supposed give 20 strokes. But because you they rejoice, say God they punish him. God can reduce in hand. Instead of that 20 strokes, God will give him three. And the remaining 17, if he come your way, do not rejoice when somebody is down. Why do you not use sound? Because a lot of sounds have expired. Many people don't realize that a lot of sounds have expired. Uh, any sound that requires you, your enemy dying expired. Any sound that subjects you to the old covenant expired. Uh, any sound uh, that is not in line with our new covenant in God. You see, it's like, what about karma which all of us will receive? Karma is not a Christian doctrine. But I do believe in karma. I believe what you put out there is what comes back to you. Even though it's not a Christian doctrine, I do believe in it in principle. So please, once again, T.B. Joshua was a great man. He had faults like you and I, made mistakes like you and I, did good things like you and I. You, you see, only his wife and children really know what, you see, some of you don't know what I go through with the free nation. His only people who are really close to me. There are many things that I used to criticize pastors for until I realized that, until I started having, until I started meeting some of them one-on-one. -on -one. And let me tell you, what do we need from the body of Christ? We need a revolution. We need the wickedness to depart. We need true teachings. You can't get that if all you do is bash them. You can't do that. Correct the doctrines. There are things that many people don't believe in. I've had my experiences, but you see, I don't want to go into this because at the end of the day, it will always be misconstrued. Some people are just here. Wow. My live video just ended. Though. What happened? Shy. How did my live video just end like that on Instagram? I mean, my phone don't fool. I think my phone is full on Instagram. So I might have to delete the Instagram app and bring it back. Let me just use the opportunity to drive them to YouTube um, and everywhere else. Sorry, guys, I lost... Uh, Sorry, Instagram. I was, um, I think my phone is full, so I have to delete the Instagram app, delete a few things, and then um, come back. I think my Instagram app is, uh, is clogging up my memory. So, guys, um, please, I was, my video was cut off abruptly. I beg you. 
Um, go to youtube.com forward slash daddy freeze teaches the whole video is there uh, It's also available on Facebook, but it's easier to navigate to YouTube youtube.com forward slash daddy freeze teaches on Facebook. It's daddy freeze on Facebook, it's Daddy Freeze. Someone said, get a new phone. Why don't you get me the new phone? Nobody, you are the teach. This phone I'm using is iPhone 11. The one I'm using to check the Bible is iPhone 11 Pro. Do you have these phones? You that are telling me, go and get a new phone. What phone do you use? Take a picture of your phone now with a date mark and let's see the phone you are using. You will just come and yarn. So, on a final note, as I officially, one person says, let me just block him. You guys don't realize that I can block you on YouTube. I've just blocked him. Some people know they try, they don't just want to get sense for this life. They just want to do mumu. I'm waiting if you do. Like I sip my wine, jaw. Mm. Cheers. Oh. So, on the final take, please, Pastor Chris, I've, I've explained all of it. The whole video is on youtube.com forward slash daddy freeze teaches. Uh, please, Pastor Chris, let Pastor TB Joshua. Rest. There's one thing they say, Zunwa Nike. Have you watched that thing? Zunwa Nike. What does it mean? I always see it on, on Instagram. Someone said, Is that red wine? Yes, absolutely. The fruit of the grape. Very good for your heart. So please, Pastor Chris, leave Zukwa Nike. What does it mean? Zukwa Nike. Abi Zukwa Nike. What does it mean? It means rest. How does it mean rest? Let me bring Ezienne. This is an Igbo girl. She go fit to explain them to us well, well. It means rest. It means calm down. It's Igbo. Take a rest. Rest small. It means go and rest. <laughs> Hi, daddy. Hey, my darling sister, how are you doing? Uh uh, all natural and pretty. It's not easy to do this, so. No, be everybody if you do this thing where you try, so. If some people do, I'm go just, you will just see my, my camera go just off like this. <laughs> I go down wrong. Go. Okay, Zukwa so means rest now. Rest now. As in, break it down. Zukwa. Zukwa, no. It's just a one word. Zukwa Zukwani, because I asked taste buds and taste buds is Igbo. What Igbo is this? Is it Anambra Igbo or Imo Igbo or Enugu Igbo? That's the one I don't know. Because taste buds, okay, babe. <laughs> so, okay, so is Anambra Igbo? Zukwani. Let me see your eyes. Your eyes are. I'm only seeing your nose down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking, but I just have to Show us what you are cooking. Show us what you are cooking. Sorry? Show us what you are cooking so that we can be hungry. No, I don't take my phone to the kitchen. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Love it says it's General Ibo. Thank you so much, my sister. Take care. Thank you for joining us and thank you for coming live. Daddy Freeze, I have a question. Go ahead. I'll answer your question if God permits me. Okay, uh, Water. As in holy water. No river. Hmm. Huh, how do I begin? In traditional African mythology, rivers are very powerful. Okay. We have river spirits. We have river goddess. Oshun River Oshun is okay. worshipped. It's a it's a river goddess. 
Okay. Now, abroad, or sorry, in Israel, to the river Jordan was also used for purification rites. So, if okay. you say, do rivers have power? It depends on the context. For Christianity, nothing has power except your faith. But if you dabble into spiritism, rivers have power, trees have power, all sorts of things have power. That's why okay. people can call on lightning and do all these things. It is possible. But okay, be careful. I something okay. a lot from people. Okay. They said that women that are from river right areas, they hardly get married on time. It affects them, the water there. Hmm. You see, <laughs> let me tell you something here. Yeah. From my experience with Riverine girls, Riverine girls are a bit more uninhibited okay. sexually. They are more open. They are not closed like other parts of Nigeria. Where okay. a woman, let me tell you, let me tell you a story one on one. There was this lady I watched when I was much younger. My guy brought her home. So we went to peep at the window and we were seeing what they were doing. And the girl knew okay. how to do. So I was really, really interested in this girl. So the next day, my guy now transferred to Abuja. I now saw the girl around. I now went to her. Hey, what's up? I now said, that's how I carried the girl inside the house after plenty buying of shawarma and all the things. Okay. As we begin to do like this, the girl just shouted, Ah, you have deflowered me. Did you hear? I heard that. <laughs> you see, but that? you see, I, I, that's how this I was, I was surprised. You that were watching you give, and everybody there was like, oh boy, this girl sabu. But you see, that's how our mentality is. We are more hypocritical when it comes to women and um, okay. uh, the intimate things. They from that side are a bit more open. So it looks like they don't get married quickly. Of course, some of them have marine spirits. Don't get me wrong. Some of them have river spirits and all that. But okay. there are Yoruba girls that have these spirits. There are Igbo girls that have these spirits. There are Calabar girls that have these spirits. Person will get spirit, get is spirit. It Which one is Abiku? Abiku is... Abiku is the one that... Ooh, the child will keep coming and coming and coming and coming. But it was cured by me medicine. Even up to my father's time, there were people who had abiku issues. Even up to my father's time. Okay. What happens in the abiku issues is a child will die and the child will be born again and the child will die again. And, and the woman can have six children and all of them will be dying and coming back. So what they now do is they now do a ritual. This I'm telling you, I have a cousin that they did this thing to. They cut his body when he came to the world and then died. They cut his body, put a mark on every joint of his body, and did some rituals. When he was born, he was born with those marks from the womb. Wow. Yes. I have seen it happen in my family like three or four times. Wow. There was one of my uncles who was crippled. They say, ah, I asked my dad, that, was he born like he said, ah, that he was Abiko, that when he now died, they now broke all his legs before they buried him. So when he was wow. born, he was born with the legs broken. So these things, so yes, these things do exist. However, Abiko has really been reduced by modern medicine. Modern medicine, uh, spirit on your own, they cure some kind of mumu, mumu, mumu madness. <laughs> So, children don't die like they used to die those days. Those days, children could die of anything. Back in the day. Yes. Back in the day. Yeah. So, okay. so, so, so I, I, have I answered that question? So, yes, there are powers in yeah. rivers, but my advice is don't dabble into it. Don't go there. Once you what? enter it, it's hard to come out. Okay. Don't go to meet a river for power. Many of our celebs do no, no, no. it. There is an incident okay. recently into question, into 
think about things that um, uh, I'm from a river right area. My village is surrounded by water. So I've heard a lot of stories that happened growing up and I grew up in the village. I hear people in school that Obanji used to just I a lot happened. Hmm. I heard some somebody went to the, the you know this thing they do my sister you're breaking oh one thing, like, the, you're breaking okay can you hear me let me remove you and add you back Say hi, my sister, say hi, so I can bring you back. Let me look for her. Omo, I think it's even my network. -o. Okay, it's not my network. Shouldn't be my network. Say hello so I can bring her back. Okay, let me rest this now. Um, if she can call back, I would love to bring her back. Someone said, I really enjoyed today's topic. Absolutely wonderful. Someone said, you also believe in Abiko. I can't say I believe in it, but I've seen instances in my family. Believing in something is totally different. But, of course, the, the information could have been misrepresented. It could have been that my cousin was born and they put the match when he was born. But from the stories we heard, and of course, you know, a lot of things in Africa have deep-rooted legendary embellishment. Someone said, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Why shouldn't there be mysterious things in the marine world? This is why I warn you over. You people will just go and carry one Bible verse and translate it in isolation and in error. Okay, what was the Spirit of God not hovering over the land? Don't do this. This is what spoils Christianity. Okay, guys, Isene is not coming back. I'm sure I'll have a private conversation with her. But for the rest of you, take care, God bless, and for Pastor Chris, please, Pastor Chris, take it easy on Prophet T.B. Joshua. May his soul rest in peace. Okay, Ezeene is here. Let me quickly go live with her for a few minutes. All right, Ezeene. <laughs> Fantastic, okay. it's better. So yes, ask your question quickly while network permits us. Okay. Question, I was narrating what happened Please narrate. That I ask myself this water, all that. I heard the story of some guy that went. You know what it's called bunkering? Like going to. Yes, bunkering. Like yes, 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 yes. So missing. Hmm. People thought he has dreamy days. He surfaced back. Wow. And just message spirits gave him that he should violate people doing that. That water. Sorry, take this back again. DM me your phone number. Let me call you. DM me your phone number. I'll DM you the. Leave this one on. Uh. A the uh a a g n e a g i'm looking for you uh -huh. i'm sending you a dm send your number reply your dm send me your number let me call you so we'll have the visual from here and then i'll have your uh phone oh. number so we'll have your audio from here and your visual from there 
maybe. All right, I'm waiting for the number. John, I'll send it to you. I'm using you. Okay. The same number I'm using for the last five years. Oh, okay, okay. Say it again. So the story is the guy um, was trapped underwater and was taken care of by spirits. Has drowned. After three, they came back to life. Hmm. And he went, you know, this thing they do, same people gave him a main people that they should. Hmm. Oh, wow. My sister, network is very bad. Uh, please send me your number if you can, so I'll call you. I want to say, just call her, please, because they really want to hear this story. So, guys, we're just waiting for her. Yeah, call me. Send me your number. Let me call you so we'll have a clear audio. Okay, she's, she's typing. She's sending me her number. So, I'm sure that will be clearer and, yeah, fantastic. So... Okay, so it's going to ring now and you guys will hear it. So we'll, we'll end off with this. Just one second. Now network wants to... <laughs> Which kind of devil be this? Even the phone won't give us issues. Ooh, I caught it by mistake. <laughs> Let's hope it connects now. Network. Try. In the UK, you dial number once like this. We just connect. Hello. Yes, hello. Hi, Daddy Free. Hi, my sister. It's so much clearer now. Now tell me the story so we can where it was breaking. Okay. I said there is this thing they do, they call bunker. People go into the water. Yes. Trying to get the currencies, some people, other things like Yes. So I heard this particular man when he got missing. Everybody in the village thought he had died. They were just waiting for the body to stay. Hmm. After three days, he came back to life with a message to the village people. He went around town telling them that the water spirit told him to tell them to stop that bomb crate, that they are polluting the water, they are spoiling the water. Hmm. And uh, if you he, he or here, I don't know, it was going to bless them that they should stop polluting the water. I heard that our village water has said changing color because of that bomb crate they are doing. And then normally our village fish is very sweet. So some people complain, oh, that the fish is no longer safe very well because of the bunker all those stuff they do in the water it spoils the water and all that so when i heard the story i began to wonder i was like okay of course it is possible to be true it could be true be alive inside water for three days you see, there's a lot of things that modern medicine cannot explain and even science struggles with but to be honest all these things are possible It will be nice. It will be nice. When next are you going to the village? Sorry? When next are you going to your village? I only go to the village probably Christmas. Fantastic. I'll keep in touch with you in Christmas and let's see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to see the guy. This is the story my mom told me that happened recently. Try to find the guy. It will be good for all of us. We are all interested. Yes. Of the, it delays the women to get 
get married on time and all that. We delayed their marriage. Have you personally had any spirit husband experience? Sorry? Have you had personally any spirit husband experience? I know, God forbid, though. I grew up in a Christian home. My sister and grandmother is a Christian. So I, I grew up going to money mass as a child. I used to go for money mass very early in the morning before I go to school in my spirit school days. At that point in my life, I was very close to God. So mm. God bringing matters a lot. A lot, I yes. I, I agree yes. with you in that regard. I agree with you in that regard. Um, but to be honest, um, it's, it exists. A lot of... You see, Christ was casting out demons. There were other spirits. We cannot so say... Yes. Okay, someone said she has a spirit experience, husband experience. You know what? We're going to discuss this topic at 11 o'clock on Live and Dangerous. Spirit husband, does it exist? Please, can you join us? If you're not going to be busy, 11 p.m. tonight, you'll see many people will come out and share their experiences. What do you think? That would be great. I'll send you a text me I'll send you a DM to remind you just before 11. Okay, sir, that's fine. All right. Good night. Take care. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for making the show so nice. Bye. Bye. Bye guys.